Good afternoon. Welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. Today, I want to share with you something that I'm making today, but I'm not going to have it until New Year's. But I wanted to go ahead and show you how it's made in case it's something that you would want to fix for New Year's. It's called Black Eyed Peas with Sausage and Jalapenos. Now, I have browned a tube of breakfast sausage. I think mine was Tennessee Pride, but it doesn't matter the brand. You can use hot if you prefer, but I just used regular. I have already got that browned, so if it needs draining, you drain it at this time. But to that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of minced onion, you know I like easy, and this is easy. Okay, I'm going to add four, well let me skip, I'm going to do two teaspoons of salt. Y'all have ordered me a little salt box. It's going to make it so much easier to get my salt out of. It calls for a tablespoon of sage. I'm going to use poultry seasoning. It has sage in it, and to me it's not as strong. Okay. And then it says four cloves of minced garlic. Well, I'm going to use the minced garlic in a jar. And a half of a teaspoon equals a clove. So I'm going to use two. That's one. Two, three, four. I'm going to use four of that. Then you use six cups of chicken broth. And this box right here is four cups. So I'm going to go ahead and put the four. It would be half of this, but I knew I couldn't get it exactly. So that's two cups right there. So that equals the six cups of the chicken broth. Make sure I've got everything down. Then you're going to use two pounds of frozen black-eyed peas. Now, I know somebody's going to ask if you can use canned or whatever. I've not made it with canned. I think you would have to um, adjust your liquid or something like that. All right, I have done that. And the very last thing it called for was four jalapenos, and I took the seed and the membrane out and chopped it because we don't like it hot. If you want this hot, you can leave some of the seed, but I just took all the seed and the membrane. It's just gonna give it a good taste, but it's not gonna be hot. All right, what I'm gonna do is bring this to a boil. Before it starts boiling, I'm gonna show you when I splashed a while ago, I made a mess, but I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Let me turn my 
foam down so when I bring it over here. It's just real juicy right now. But when it comes to a boil and I put the lid on it, no, I'm not gonna, not gonna put the lid. It doesn't say to put the lid. I'm gonna turn it down to simmer for about 40 to 45 minutes. My phone's crooked, isn't it? And then I'm gonna see if all, most of the liquid has been cooked out. And this will be, this will be done. But what I will do on New Year's Day is I'm gonna have some rice and put this on the rice. Y'all, it is very good. My daughter Amy made this last year. And um, she said, Mama, you need to share that recipe. And I said, I sure do, because it's very, very good. Now, I have already cooked some collards too. They have to cook too long for me to show you how I do it. But I'll be happy to tell you later how I do that. I just, uh, to, uh, a friend gave me some collards. I washed them real good. To me, that's the worst part. And after that, I cut them up, <clears throat> put them in a big pot, covered them with water, salt, and pepper. And I used some salt meat. It's like thick bacon that's already sliced. And that's what I seasoned it with. And I cooked it for a long time. But anyway, this is going to come to a boil. And when it gets ready, I'm going to be back and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Just hang on. Okay, the peas cooked for 45 minutes. And um, on the recipe, it said cook until the liquid has reduced by half. And it has definitely done that. I'm going to get some out and show you what it looks like. Now this is without adding any rice or anything. I don't know if you can see, I think you can. But I'm going to cook rice to serve this over on New Year's Day. I will put this recipe up after um, I put this video on you can always find my recipes under my photos. There is a uh, an album called Recipe Cards. So that's where you can find uh, most of the recipes that I have done, at least lately. Um, I do want to tell you that I put instructions on how to order cookbooks at the very top of my page. It will always remain at the top. I get uh, messages every day. How can I order your cookbook? So I want you to know when you go to Mama Sue's Southern Kitchen, it will be the first post there. It'll even be before the videos. And that gives you instructions how to order. And I do have cookbooks, so I ship them usually. With, now I'm shipping them within two days. Uh, from the time I get your order. Now, I'm not saying you're going to get them within two more days because the mail has been an awful mess. But I'm hoping it's going to be better since the Christmas rush is over. And I apologize, but there's nothing that I could do once I get it shipped. But I thank you so much for all of your orders. It's been a blessing. Today's been a busy day. I had a a dental checkup this morning, and then Harold had his first therapy this afternoon for his rotator cuff surgery, and he did great. Um, it wasn't comfortable, but he said he did great. And thank you for all the prayers that have been going up for him and our baby Blake. Blake is slowly, slowly gaining weight, but he is showing improvement. It may be slow, but we're going to take it. And for those of you who have been asking about Henry, who was um, born after Blake was, um, Henry went to be with Jesus uh, this past week. So y'all just pray for his mother and daddy. That was their only child. And, you know, 
We don't know the whys, but we have to trust God. And I want to tell you before I leave that this year will be over. It'll be over tomorrow. And most everyone's saying, I'm so glad 2020 is over. And we've had a lot of heartache this year. A lot of things that we've never had to encounter before. But I'm sure if you look around, you're going to find some good things that happened also. And you know, all I could think about this afternoon was the scripture, and it's in Revelation where it says, God says, I make all things new. Well, I want to know, I, I want you to know that I know that means heaven. You know, there's a new heaven and a new earth when, when uh, uh, Jesus returns and everything. But I will tell you, he makes all things new here. It doesn't matter what you've been through, what you've done, how bad you've been. You give your heart to him and you're a new creation. Y'all be salt and light. The next time I see you, I'll be able to tell you, Happy New Year. Thank you for following me and sharing my page. I love each of you. Have a great day. It was good.